<sighs> so I ended up buying a lot of carbon fiber wrap off the internet meant for cars. And it's not exclusively for cars, but as I said in the other video, my carbon fiber wrap on my Nintendo Switch video, I explained how I bought it for my car. It didn't work out because my car was too crappy. It was just bubbling, it looked horrible. So I was left with this gift wrapping size tube, just full of like six feet of carbon fiber wrap that I spent like 60 bucks on. So I was thinking, what could I wrap with this carbon fiber wrap? Because it's really nice. And so I decided to wrap my laptop. So I'm gonna throw up a video right now of me wrapping the laptop. And the first step in this process was to clean the top of the laptop. I have this special spray that you can clean it off with, but honestly, if you just get a solution with a little bit of dish soap and water or a Clorox wipe, as long as you clean it off, get all the dust and dirt off of it, and then just dry it really well with like a microfiber cloth, or heck, even a paper towel would probably work. Go ahead and do that. Once that's done, you're gonna cut out the right size of carbon fiber, and you are going to peel it off like a big old sticker and stick it on the back. Now you'll notice that I put it on wrong, and the th nice thing about carbon fiber vinyl wrap and most vinyl wraps is they're very forgiving. You can lift them back up. It's not just like a sticker where you stick it on and once you pull it off again, it's toast. No, you can pull it up again, and as you can see, I'm getting this credit card type of plastic with a felt edge so it doesn't scratch the, the carbon fiber wrap, and I'm just slowly pressing it down, getting all the air bubbles out and getting it on the back of my laptop. Now, here comes the fun part. All you gotta get is that utility knife. I got that in that same kit, link in bio. But you just gently go around the edge of your laptop and you're just gonna cut. Cut it, you know, the carbon fiber. Obviously, because you cut a little bigger of a sticker, bigger than the back of your laptop, you're gonna have some hanging off the edge. So you just wanna make sure you're slowly kinda carving away that excess carbon fiber wrap. And that way it fits to the, the back of your laptop perfectly. Once you're done with that, you want to make sure, make sure you get all air bubbles out. And from there, it's just a heat gun, especially the corners. You want to make sure you heat it up. Or else, if your laptop, which, you know, hopefully it won't, but if your device or whatever you're wrapping ends up getting in some hot weather, it's going to, you know, peel up a little bit. So you want to make sure you use that heat gun to kind of adhere and harden the carbon fiber wrap to your device. Um, obviously you don't want to damage it by heating it up because those heat guns get very very hot but you're gonna heat it up all around you know on the carbon fiber and it's just gonna kind of cure and attach to your I don't really know exactly the right verbiage to say it but it just kind of gives that finishing touch so it will just kind of stay in place on your laptop and as you can see it worked out very well it looks very well there's a little yoga um, raised logo on the top of the screen but because it was so small it didn't really affect the wrap it looks great and now my laptop not only looks good but it has a protective scratch layer on the back of it so that's it for the video guys so that's how you apply some carbon fiber wrap or any wrap to your laptop it's very simple it took me about 10 minutes to do and I think everyone who wants to put some protective you know skins on your computer especially because it can be hard to find one specially made for it this is the, the best way to go because you could wrap, you know, I, I don't know, like 20 laptops or something with the wrap that I bought. So that's what I'd recommend. If you enjoyed that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. Please consider clicking that subscribe button to help support this channel as we're going to be making a lot more videos like this in the future. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. 